What's up guys and it's time. Samsung has never been under fire this much in recent years. The Exynos chipset. It is as annoying as Arturo Roman. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense but you guys get the point. What we want is equality. We want both Exynos and Qualcomm on the same level. Exynos users are reporting bad battery life, overheating, autofocus issues etc. None of these complaints are coming so far from Qualcomm Galaxy S20 devices. In fact, a lot of other manufacturers use Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip. So far, none of those have any kind of problem. This is only a Samsung issue and it calls for one thing. And that is Samsung needs to bring AMD ASAP. Today we have a new report that has given us more insight of Samsung and Google collaboration. It seems like Qualcomm's Android dominance as well as Apple's A chipsets are about to face some serious competition. As reported on Exios.com, Google has received its first work working batch of chips that they have designed in collaboration with Samsung. Yes, the same Google chip that we discussed earlier in the previous video that is going to be a 5 nanometer chip with latest ARM cores as well as the latest ARM GPU, the Meli P20. And since it's a Google chip, it's going to be using Google's neural core as well as Google's own ISP. Google is more involved in this than ever before because this is for their Pixel and Chromebook devices coming next year. Moreover, Samsung is also said to be helping Apple with their 5 nanometer chips and most importantly their own Exynos chips. You see, Samsung never uses the stuff that they make for other manufacturers. They always have something special planned for their own flagship Galaxy phones. The 5 nanometer Exynos chip with AMD could still happen for the Galaxy S21. It makes all the sense. You see, this chip is for Google, which means it's probably not going to be on the Galaxy S21. It is made for Pixel 6, which means that next year Pixel devices will not only be faster, but possibly have more than four years of software support. Thanks to Samsung, Google has a lot of control on this chip, a lot more than what they have with Qualcomm chips. So we could see the best optimization with software as well as camera. I mean, I cannot wait to see this. Google is about to challenge Apple in a way we have never seen before. So this leaves Samsung on their own and this is the time to bring AMD in. According to one of Samsung representative, he said that AMD is the best in the game, one of the oldest when it comes to the GPU manufacturing and their GPUs will greatly enhance Samsung's own mobile SoC and other application. The first AMD-based Exynos chipset is expected to arrive in 2021. One of the weakest points of Exynos chip right now is the Melee GPU. The Adreno GPU consistently outperforms it if you do long-term gaming. Under heavy load, Adreno keeps a stable FPS. So considering how much Samsung has been bashed against the wall because of Exynos, this needs to happen. In my opinion, Samsung needs to make their own processor way powerful than Qualcomm chipset and use that chip worldwide everywhere so that we have one consistent performance on all of Samsung flagship phones. Just like Apple and Huawei, they have their one chip for their devices. Samsung needs to stop relying on Qualcomm and go on their own. And I believe AMD is the answer and also this is the time. So let me know your opinion in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.